In today's video, we're going to try and answer a common question I get when we're talking about kinematics, motion, speed, velocity, and acceleration, acceleration. And the question really is, what does that mean, meters per second squared? Now, before we do that, please don't forget, subscribe to my channel, Step by Step Science. Get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. You can like, you can share, you can comment, you can subscribe, and you can click on the notifications bell and get notified when I post new videos. Like I said, we want to know, what does that mean when we say the acceleration is 4 meters per second squared? I think really that's what people have a problem with, is the meters per second squared thing, that second squared. And I'm going to try and go through and show you where that comes from and what that means. Now we're going to start. So we have a little bit of background with change in position, and then we're going to go to velocity, and then we're going to go to acceleration. So you kind of see where we're going to and how it all builds from one to the next thing. Now, change in position, when we talk about motion in one dimension, and you're just going in one direction and not coming back in the opposite direction, then really the change in the position is very similar to the distance. They're not exactly the same thing, but they're very similar. And people will often say distance, but what they really mean is change in position because change in position is a vector quantity, and the unit for that quantity is the meter. That's the first thing, the meter. All right, and the change in position is defined as the position final minus the position initial. So if you start there at position initial at zero and you walk five meters, then you're at position final five meters, and you can find your change in position by subtracting the final minus the initial. So we're going to subtract five minus zero, of course, and then we get that your change in position is five meters. It's like the distance, all right? But in this case, because we're trying to talk about vector quantities, we're going to just use the specific word change in position because velocity is defined as the rate of change of position. It's how fast your position changes. And remember, the unit for velocity is meters per second. All right, now when we calculate velocity, it says the rate of change of position. It's how fast your position changes. So we take the change in the position and divide it by the change in the time. And you remember the unit for the position is meters. The unit for time is seconds. So when you divide position by time, you're dividing meters by seconds, and that's where we get the unit for velocity, which is meters per second. So for example, if you walk from zero to five meters in two seconds, then your velocity is five divided by two meters per second, which is 5.2, excuse me, 5.2, 2.5 meters per second. That means that for every second that you walked, you went 2.5 meters. And if you do that for two seconds, then the total distance, or really the total, see I even said it, the change in your position is five meters. Okay, that's the velocity. Now we're going to have the acceleration. Here's where it all starts. Okay, now remember acceleration, the, de the definition for acceleration is the rate of change of velocities, how fast or how slow your velocity changes. So you're changing your velocity every second. That's where you get that meters per second. Because we're changing our velocity every second. Remember, the unit is meters per second squared, and this is where we're going to kind of try to figure out what that means. Now, I'm going to kind of derive, go through and derive that unit. So the acceleration, we said, is the change in velocity over the change in time. Well, if you remember, the unit for velocity is what? Don't forget, it's meters per second. And the unit for the time is the seconds. So you could write down that the units for acceleration are meters per second per second. It's how much your velocity changes every second. Now, that means you could, in a sense, write down, and you wouldn't really be wrong, but it doesn't look very neat. We don't like to keep it like that. You could write down that your acceleration is 3 meters per second for every second. That means your velocity is increasing 3 meters per second every second. So if you start at rest, after 1 second, you're going 3 meters per second. After 2 seconds, you're going 6 meters, and 3 seconds, 9, and 12, and on and on and on. Okay, but like I said, we don't like to leave it like that because it's kind of messy um, mathematically or algebraically. But that would, that's what that means. Three meters per second for every second. And you'll see when we simplify it, we just get meters per second squared. So we have a fraction here. We have this seconds on the bottom, and we can turn that into a fraction by putting it over one. So now we have a fraction on top of a fraction. We have like a big fraction, big fraction right there. 
one fraction, two fraction. We want to simplify that. Well, why, the way you could do that algebraically is you can multiply the bottom half of that fraction and the top half of that fraction by the reciprocal of the bottom half. Okay, that's the way you want to do that because you'll notice that when we multiply across, s times 1, seconds times 1 is seconds, and 1 times seconds is also seconds. What do you know? So we have seconds over seconds. Now on the top half, we have m times 1, which is meters, and seconds times seconds, which is seconds squared. And that's where that second squared comes from, because now we have meters per second squared over seconds over seconds. Well, what's seconds over seconds? What's one thing over the same thing? What's anything divided by itself is 1. So this is like this thing over 1, and this thing over 1 is simply meters per second squared, right? which we oftentimes just write down like that meters per second squared. So you can say that you write it down like this. Instead of writing it like this, you write it like this, but it's the same thing. It's just telling you that your velocity is changing 3 meters per second every second, or your speed is changing 3 meters per second every second. That's what it is. And you could write it, it makes a little bit more sense when you look at it to write it like that. But that's kind of messy. We simplify it and we write meters per second squared. Okay? Does that help? I hope that helps. Now let's do a little example. Let's say you have a plane. The plane's kind of flying kind of close to the ground there. But anyway, it's going 35 meters per second. That's its velocity. And then we want to calculate its acceleration. Well, the, the change in velocity over the change in time. So now we want to need the final velocity and the initial velocity and the amount of time it takes. So let's say it flies across there like that and it takes four seconds. And after four seconds, it's going 45 meters per second. Well, the initial velocity is 35. The final is 45. So it's 45 minus 35. And then we're just going to say it took four seconds divided by four. So that's 10 meters per second divided by four seconds. It's meters per second per second. And that means that that thing accelerated 2.5 meters per second for every second. And we write that meters per second squared. And I showed you how we get meters per second squared on the previous video. Okay, so I hope that helps you out. I hope that helps out what the meters per second squared thing is. We started with meters for a change in position. We went to meters per second for velocity, which is the rate of change of your position. And then we talked about acceleration, which is meters per second squared, because that is the rate of change of your velocity, how fast your velocity changes. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Hope you found the video helpful. Hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please do all the following four things. Subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and don't forget, sharing is caring. Share this video with all your friends, show them just how much you care. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.